In a previous video, I said people are undisciplined to put money after the paycheck into the right vehicles. Um, what I'm trying to say is, for the most part, life happens. Life happens and then when money goes into your hands from your paycheck, your net income goes into your paycheck, what it does is it tells you what to do. The money tells you what to do instead of you telling the money what to do. The reason why 401ks are a good vehicle is because it lets you have the money after your investments have already been done. I mean, of course, if you, you know, you had the discipline, you had the fortitude to push forward and put your money where it's supposed to go, then the Roth IRA will be the next problem vehicle that you should go after. I mean, of course, matching the 401k, then you go going to max out your Roth IRA. Right now, I believe it's uh, $7,000 a year for 2024. So that's $7,000 a year that you could do there, then you can match your 401k, and then you could do different avenues and things like that. But if you don't have, and this is you looking in the mirror, but if you don't have the ability to make your money do what you want it to do when you get paid, then the 401k is the best avenue for you. For people that want to take advantage of the tax advantage strategy of the Roth IRA, of course you will pay taxes on your income and then you will invest the money. And then with that, all the profits and gain that you make will not be taxed when you reach, you know, 59 and a half. And then we go back to the word discipline and being able to do it. The best way to be able to contribute to that, you know, putting, you know, 580 to $600 a month is set up a automatic transfer. So when your paycheck comes on the first of the month or the 15th of the month or every two weeks of the month, what you do is you just set up an automatic transfer for when your paycheck comes to send that money off. So when you wake up in the morning, by the time you wake up in the morning, the money that's sitting in your bank account is the money that you're able to spend when your transfer money would already went to your Roth IRA. For your Roth IRA, it's the same as the 401k. You don't have to do nothing sweet. You don't have to do nothing sexy. But like when you put money and you transfer it to your Roth IRA, it's just sitting in a money market account. You have to go invest it. What you need to do is you need to put it into a mutual fund that's indexed to the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. My preferential percentage is putting 50% to the S&P 500, a mutual fund that's indexed to the S&P 500, and an index that's indexed to the NASDAQ 100. And then just keep investing there. You don't have to go sit there and be a stock scholar. You don't have to go do nothing special. That right there will get you where you need to go with that. With the historical averages of those two mutual funds, it will set you off in a better way. Of course, depending on the age, that you start investing, but the more you invest early, the better you off later. And then of course, if you start investing at a later age, you'll need to put more to catch up to your younger self. But in the end, it will put you in a better position in retirement age.